welcome you all to today's modular classroom today we are going to see how to take an online class in android phone in the last video we have seen how to take an online class using the desktop and laptop and today easily we can handle our classes using the existing smartphone and various other apps available first you should install the meet app and after installing let us see what are all the features available and then we can move on to the demo first we can see the people chat and info these three options are available and uh, once you click on the people you can find the number of participants who are in the meeting and next is the chat and through which you can able to share the informations with the participants third is the info if you click on the info you will be able to find the meeting joining information which is shown below if you click on this meeting link the students will be able to share your class so you should share this meeting through the whatsapp group you should create a whatsapp group initially before starting your online class or you should you can share easily to your google classroom and the third option you can even share to your mail and once the students started joining you can start your class and before that you can find these uh, settings which is for microphone and camera first is the microphone you can turn on and off your camera second is leave call if you press the leave call phone button option you can leave the class and leave the meeting third is the camera on off you can switch on or off your camera and in the top right corner you can find the settings and captions so captions as we have seen in the last video it is if you turn on your captions it will give you an auto converted text and the next is the settings with the settings you will be able to control and control the meeting which has been happening with the various settings available the settings are you can switch camera turn on caption present screen only if you give your present screen by opening a powerpoint presentation or any images whichever you want to explain to your class you will be the students will be able to see what you are talking with your screen and the next is once if you if your participant started joining the session if you click on the participant you can find on three three buttons first is the pin second is mute or unmute third is remove participant if any any student or participant start without if they are muting muting them you the class will be disturbed you can't handle smoothly so they you should ask them to mute if they don't know you can control only the host who created the muting mute uh, meeting link can able to mute or unmute the participants so you can once if you click on they'll be able to mute you can mute or unmute you can also remove a participant if they doesn't belong to your class by clicking on the third option now we can enter into a demo how, how to start a meeting now i am opening the meet here i am starting a new meeting now i have entered into the meeting you can find the share information share this info with the people you can as i said you can share and through whatsapp mail or any other classroom or any options i am sending or inviting the participants through mail if you have a whatsapp group you can share it even there so i have sent the mail that they will be able to join in a short span of time the second is the chat box where once the participant entered you will be able to chat with them third is the information related to this meeting you can find the joining info here here also you can able to share once you even though you started a meeting and here you can find these three options speaker microphone and leave the call option and camera switch on off turn on cap so the participant started entering i am giving admit so they able to join the meeting this is settings and once the participants turn if they have not muted them we can unmute them with the uh, once if you click on the name now they have not muted if they make any noise or disturbing you can mute them i am muting so you can ask the part if they are not able to see your screen you can ask them to pin now i am going to start my class by clicking on the present screen once i am started presenting the part the students in the class will be able to see my presentation opening the presentation and i can open it to the students and i can make a presentation now the students who are joined the meeting will be able to view the presentation uh, how to take the online class through the mobile phones so i have given a sample slides for some major stream of people 
So first if you consider the computer science, we can add all kind of images, text available and it won't be much difficult for the computer science faculty. So they can add their content. So here is a sample. The types of networks used today are PAN, LAN, LAN, CAN, MAN, LAN, SAN, etc. You can make a list. Next comes the max. So if it is a mathematics stream of people, they really will be facing a lot of difficulties on how to handle the classes with a lot of formulas and equations available. So uh, this is a sample Gauss-Jacobi iteration method, which is a method taken from the ebook. You can take a screenshot of the ebook and you can insert into the PowerPoint slide. So there are a lot of equations. So if you want to type all these equations into the PowerPoint slide, it will be really very difficult. So you can convert that screenshot into the image and that image is inserted onto the PowerPoint. Now al already the screen is in a sharing process and the students are able to view the screen. So you can start explaining the equations on the methods. Then next comes the commerce. Accountancy problems cannot be solved completely with the slides. So here you can take a screenshot or snapshot in the ebooks available and or even you can take a photocopy of a worked out example by scanning. Through these scanners available in the phone, you can make it a scanned copy and you can insert into the PowerPoint slide as you do in the ebook copy. So here the um, question of the accounts question is placed. How to calculate the prime cost, work cost, total cost of production and sales cost. So the question has been tabulated. So to tabulate all these in the PowerPoint slides is difficult. So the uh, image of the problem is inserted. So next slide is the solution and the cost sheet is generated. And you can easily explain by inserting this. And even the Tamil also. They can take a screenshot of from the ebook available and all other stream of people can also take a handwritten copy and they can insert into the four point slide. So this is how you can start presenting and the students will be presenting. After you presenting you can click on the stop presenting screen and you can leave the meeting so the students also can go out. So this is how we can easily handle by the existing technologies available through the mobile phones. Thank you. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.